I started this channel based on being a field service engineer. Now, I kind of took it for granted that a lot of people would actually know what a field service engineer is, what exactly a field service engineer does. So in this video, I'm actually going to talk about what a field service engineer is and what we do for a profession. Welcome back to Untitled Label, where we strive for greatness through optimization. I'm John, I'm a field service engineer, and on this channel, I strive to share my life on and off the clock with you. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome and thank you for taking time out of your busy day for watching this video. If you do enjoy or find any of this information useful and informational, consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Smash that thumbs up button at the end of the video. And of course, share this video with someone else that might be interested in either learning what a field service engineer is or either in becoming one. A field service engineer is someone that travels to a customer site, um, usually local or even outside of their territory. Uh, there is some kind of travel aspect to the job where you're either driving, flying, some mode of transportation to get to the customer site. Um, upon getting to the customer site, a field service engineer or a field service technician uh, that can be used intermittently, um, what they do is they complete installation, maintenance, as well as repairs of equipment. So one of the things I actually went ahead and did is I made a short list of things that a field service engineer does. So if any of these things or all of these things are things that you yourself um, can do, you're good at doing, um, you might be interested in becoming a field service engineer. So I'm going to go ahead and read off this list. So troubleshooting problems. I mentioned repairs before. You're going to be working on equipment where things are going to go wrong. So if you're a good troubleshooter, you can navigate your way around a tech pub, figure out uh, components that are broken or defective and get those fixed. Troubleshooting is going to be important for being a field service engineer. The basic skill needed to be a field service engineer is understanding electronics because that's what you're going to be mainly working on. A lot of the equipment that you're going to be working on repairing, it's going to have some kind of electrical component um, depending on the industry, obviously. I work in the biomedical industry where the equipment that I work on has a lot of electronic components to it. How do you become a field service engineer? Well, for some people, you might have to go to school. You might have to get some kind of bachelor's degree related to the field. Um, it might be some kind of mechanical engineering or some type of engineering degree for the most part, electrical, mechanical, as I previously mentioned, or you just have to have job related experience. My background, I was initially going to school to be a civil engineer. However, it wasn't something that I wanted to pursue full time. I decided to no longer pursue that degree and instead I enlisted in the Navy. I did six years in the Navy as a fire controlman where I worked on weapon systems and radars. So through that experience, I've completed a lot of maintenance. Um, some of it has been installation related, some of it has been repair related, and a lot of it has just been regular plant maintenance. I think this job is well suited for people that uh, come from a military background, not necessarily the Navy. I come from the Navy, but for those that have an electrical background, um, they're usually very good at this job. If you're able to manage yourself pretty well, you're able to manage your time really well, you're able to pick up the equipment because the training isn't necessarily that hard. It can be a little bit challenging at some time, but over time, you're going to pick it up. You're already familiar with tech pubs doing maintenance, repairs, stuff like that, and high stress. So those of you that are coming from the military, these are all things that you've already dealt with. So at the end of the day, if you just continue to improve, this job is gonna get a little bit easier and easier for you. Again, keep in mind, you have to be well organized to manage all these things that are going on. And for those that have recently gotten out, you might've lost your military bearing. Uh, having and getting that military bearing back is gonna definitely help you with this job. And by that, I mean just being a hard charger and just managing yourself um, well. So once you get hired as a field service engineer, you're gonna be working on a specific piece of equipment. Um, well, I shouldn't say a specific piece of equipment. You might be, but for the most part, as you get better and better, you're going to be working on different pieces of equipment for the company. It's going to mainly be related in the same industry. However, it may be several different pieces of equipment. Um, as you go through your training, you're going to get a little bit better and better. You're going to learn time management, which is extremely important uh, for being a field service engineer because you're going to be constantly traveling and managing a whole bunch of equipment 
And at the end of the day, you want to be able to get where you need to be on time. Part of having good time management is going to be scheduling. So you're going to be scheduling a lot of your own work as a field service engineer. Now, this includes your maintenance that you're going to have to get done, installations, as well as repairs that might pop up out of the blue. Uh, your schedule is going to vary often. No week is going to be the same, but you can at least schedule things as you see fit. I mentioned time management skills. The other aspect that you're going to need is organization. In case you're interested in learning more, I have several videos um, related to these two topics, so make sure to check those out as well. As far as the work environment for a field service engineer, I actually already made a video about that, so I'm not really going to get too, uh, too much into the details of where you're going to be working on. And being in the biomedical industry or field, um, you're going to be working in GMP areas where they're going to be areas where you have to be fully gown. Um, by gown, I mean you got to wear your little white bunny suits to prevent any contamination from entering the space. You're also going to be working in research environments where it's a little bit more lax, but you still have to make sure you're doing a good job at those places. Lastly, you're going to be traveling. So I have a video on that as well in case you're interested in learning more about the uh, work environment of a field service engineer. For the most part, you're going to be working alone. Um, although you're going to be part of a team, for the most part, whenever you're going to a customer site, you're going to be by yourself. If you're able to work alone, you're going to be good at this job. However, don't let this discourage you from applying or being interested in becoming a field service engineer. You're always going to have a team, a nice support system in case you have questions that need to be answered while you're out on the field. Other skills needed are going to be good communication. You're constantly going to be talking to customers as well as other team members. So being able to communicate clearly and effectively is extremely important for being a field service engineer. Attention to detail is also something that any good field service engineer needs as you're going to be working on equipment. A lot of these pieces of equipment are going to be put together in a certain way where attention to detail is key. Uh, I know my equipment, although some of it can be kind of small, there are little minute little details that you need to pay attention to in order to make sure that the equipment works properly whenever you're working on it or putting things back together. I think one important thing to being a field service engineer is going to be having the technical knowledge or the ability to learn a lot of things that are technical. So you're going to be looking at schematics, you're going to be looking at uh, manuals, being able to find information that you need, um, being able to follow instructions as well and taking things apart, putting them back together. Those things are key to being a good field service engineer no matter what kind of industry you're working on. Now, on this channel, I primarily focus on talking about being a field service engineer. I've actually created a separate YouTube channel called John Mission. I'm going to link that in the description below in case you guys are interested. Now, that channel is going to be primarily focused on my recreational hobbies, which include cars, bikes, things that go fast, as well as photography and a little bit more so videography. Uh, this channel is more so educational, informative where that channel is just going to be more so for leisure. So check that out as well as my Instagram, which is going to be trapmaster underscore John. Now, as you become more proficient with your equipment, you become a little bit, you know, better. You know, you're flowing through your maintenance pretty smoothly and everything like that. One of the things that you're going to be doing is training. You're going to be shadowing other junior FSCs or newly minted FSCs and you're going to tag along with them to make sure that they're doing a good job as well and that their knowledge is being brought up as yours is too. So part of the job too, as you get more proficient, is going to be shadowing and teaching. Now, when it comes to job security, it's a pretty good industry to be in. As long as products are being sold, field service engineers are going to be needed in order to maintain all these pieces of equipment that are out there. Things go wrong. Things go haywire. So you need people out there that know what they're doing to maintain equipment. Um, not only that, you need people that are going to be hardworking to install new pieces of equipment as well. In this video, I put out a lot of little tidbits that are going to help anyone that's interested in being a field service engineer learn a little bit more about this job. If you watched this full video through, you're at this point right now and you enjoyed what I had to say, you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. I have plenty of these videos out there that are going to help anyone that's interested in becoming a field service engineer or is already one. Um, all these videos are meant to help the community, everyone out there as far as being a field service engineer. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. 
and consider sharing with someone else that might be interested in being a field service engineer or is already one so you know they can step up their game per se um, with that said i'll catch you on the next one